All right, another beautiful day here in Hawaii. And I think it's time to do another gun review. Let's go ahead and do a review on the uh, Colt Mark IV Series 70 1911 45 ACP handgun. All right, so as you can see, gun is empty. Okay, this is the Colt Mark IV Series 70 1911 chambered in 45 ACP as you can see right there this is a beautiful example of a 1970s 1911 and this is also owned by my father-in-law what year did you buy this? 1975 1975 40, same year as the AR-15 he bought only 200 bucks 200 dollars 200 dollars wow so very nice collectible 1911 here you're looking at and the reason why this one is collectible is because the series 70 is the one that had a little bit older style it does not have an internal safety block whereas the series 80s is when they changed to the uh, internal safety block which a lot of gunsmiths didn't really like when it came to uh, customizing the trigger this one is the better gun basically matter of fact a lot of the newer 1911s today are basically copies of this old model here that the series 70 they basically took away that uh, that internal safety block to make it just like this gun here. Okay, here's the ammo for this gun. This is the 45 ACP. ACP stands for Automatic Colt Pistol. So this ammo is originally designed to shoot out of this gun. Colt ammo, Colt gun. But over the years, everybody started making these. There's all kinds of brands, but this is the original. Colt is the original uh, maker of the 1911. And they invented the uh, 1911, basically, if you don't already know. Uh, the soldiers in the Philippines were having problems fighting the, uh, uh, the warriors in the Philippines because they had 38 specials back then. And uh, I guess the American government had a problem with 38s, so they developed the uh, 45 ACP, uh, according to legend. I'm not an expert, so I don't really know all the details. But basically, 1911, it's been around for a long time, uh, 100 years this year. Alright, so let's look closer at this gun. You'll see it has a GI style uh, guide rods and spring. Well, you can't really see it, but I'll show you. Which basically means it's the short um, guide rod. Uh, the newer ones will have a long, full length guide rod. The sights on this is just your basic GI sights. You can see there's this, a metal uh, blade in the front with no kind of highlights, no paint, nothing. Just black. And then just a just a low profile notched rear sight so very basic GI style classic GI style nothing fancy there it's not a range gun for sure and if you look at the front sight it's not dovetailed in so it's a little bit older as you can tell the newer ones will be dovetailed like the rear see how that's dovetailed in the back you can uh, drive that out and put a new one in the front one not so much but uh, new guns you can so that's just kind of an old retro style. The finish on this is really nice. It's shiny on the sides, if you can see that on the camera. So shiny on the sides and kind of a matte black on the top. That's to keep the uh, glare down when you're shooting in uh, bright daylight. Which is good because we're in Hawaii, so that would come in handy here. The slide serrations on the uh, slide are just your standard GI vertical slides, real basic. Uh, newer, more custom models will have some in the front and in the rear, but I like these old GI styles. They're very clean. It's a very classic, clean look, so I like having just the slide serrations on the back. The safety here is just your GI style safety. It's very small, but just enough to get the job done. The newer uh, 1911s will have a extended uh, thumb safety that comes out further, so it's easy for you to hit it. Or it'll be ambidextrous and they'll have, they'll have one on both sides. But this is an old GI style, bare bones, classic. You don't need all that extra fancy stuff. This is just enough to get the job done, which is nice. A lot of people like that. As you can see here, it has your standard grip safety and uh, beaver tail, they call this right here. And this is a GI style beaver tail, so it's kind of small. And the reason why they changed this in the, in the more modern guns 
is that as you can see where the hammer comes back if you have fat hands like me there's a possibility that that skin can get bit by the hammer so they extended that beaver tail a little bit bigger with the up swoop on modern guns so on these older guns they don't have that it's still hard to get bit by it but you know for some people it was a problem especially in combat where you have maybe gloves or just different sized people so they changed that over time but it's still nice it's a classic look and then you have the uh, raised mainspring housing right here which is nice it helps uh, fill the grip up in your hand a little bit uh, some of the older models will have a flat mainspring housing but this one's a little bit raised so that's kinda nice these are the original Colt magazines that he, he got with the gun when he bought it in the 70s it says right on the bottom Colt 45 Auto solid metal construction very nice got a metal follower and uh, very nice magazine capacity for these is seven rounds of 45 ACP so you really gotta make your shots count you only have seven rounds that's the downside to 1911's is limited capacity but the good the good thing is uh, is that um, 1911's are known to be very accurate guns so you gotta make your shots count when you have a 1911 you don't have very many bullets to shoot all right, so let's take this gun apart and take a look inside. All right, so as you can see there, it has a GI style guide rod and spring, so there's nothing to see there. If this was a full length guide rod, you'll see the guide rod poking out the front. Okay, with the gun field strip, you can see the differences between the old and the new. This is called a finger collet bushing, or just a collet style bushing. But on the newer ones, you'll see this is usually made out of a solid metal. It's machined out of one solid piece of metal. This one's more like a spring style. And there's a pro and a con to this style. The upside to this is that it fits the barrel extremely tight. And nice and tight equals higher accuracy. The downside to this collet style is that the thinness of these uh, fingers over time if you shoot them hard enough and beat them to hell they can fail and break and you don't want to have parts breaking on your gun so to keep the gun more combat um, effective they reverted back to the solid metal style bushings instead of the finger call it bushing so just something to notice on the old guns and here's that GI style guide rod I was talking about it's very short on the modern uh, full length guide rod this thing will be way out here to where my thumb is so just a little different the slide is basically the same but there are some minor differences between the old and the new on this one the ejection port is not lowered and flared it's just standard it's kinda high and uh, on the newer guns this part right here will be cut down lower to basically uh, eject the shells more reliably and flared right here also too you'll notice this one has an internal um, uh, extractor claw it's on the inside of the slide uh, on the modern guns it'll be an external extractor claw so just little minor differences some people like these ones better because they're just cleaner looking more classic looking and this one's nice too because it says Colts government model right there on the slide so that's kinda nice that brings the value up I'm sure everybody wants a Colt let's get a closer look at this one too Colts Mark IV Series 70 got the prancing horse on there very nice classic design okay so that's the Colt 1911 government model GI sized handgun beautiful 1911 all right so let's go shoot this baby all right we got the Colt 1911 out here ready to go loaded up hey, I hit it that would have been embarrassing if I missed <laughs> Yeah. Okay.